people. According to my diagnostic, we are we are currently alive. Yay, we're alive. Okay, you can see it. Alright, so when we last left off, we were going to check out where the princess went, but first, let's go shopping. We can actually buy this stuff, and this is where we really want to be, because... the right save. I hope so. Let me double check. Let me, let me watch our last one. <laughs> uh, I think the my test save that I had there is a little head. You might think that's really funny, and it is, kind of. <laughs> but, uh... Let's see, what was my coin total when we saved? Did I go into the menu at all? Five, six, nine, one. Aha! It's different! Thank God. It's probably still sharing, right? You can still see it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, nope. This is the right one. I guess I sold something. <laughs> Fuck if I knew. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, right here. Did I buy stuff already then? Or... I'm so confused. Well, I must not have because. Yeah, all right, now we can actually buy this stuff. Yay! Because we've already got the stash here, which we wanted. Ah, yes, you want to buy the fancy wear too because it boosts your stash even more. Now we gotta start selling some gear we don't use. Yeah, we did get a silver statue as a rare drop, so we can go ahead and, and use that, right? I'm a little sad to say goodbye to our Iron Ball Hammer. Goodbye, Iron Ball Hammer. I miss all I'm gonna miss it forever, but... Alright. Now we're ready to go find out what happened to Peach. Are you excited? As I'll ever be. So we can't go into the gold shop yet because we're not the max rank, or the second to max rank, I think. 
Anyways, this is a character that was in Bowser's Inside Story, but I never visited it because she was uh, completely optional and really just unlocked through gear for Bowser. But uh, she's here. Here's the twist. There's only one major problem with that. Dreamstone's supposed to grant wishes, is it not? Oh, yeah, I think. So how did Frigwood Hiding do anything? I asked, pray tell. You know, like, if we're gonna, like, keep the princess safe and everything, shouldn't we, like, just stop Bowser? Wouldn't that, would that not be the better plan? No, that would reduce the amount of gameplay by a significant margin. Alright, so, this place apparently has dream portal spots. And I guess the dream world is like, despite everything, autonomous from Luigi's mind. Which is a really strange thing to think about. Like, even though Luigi's not sleeping, the dream world is still like a thing. Which is like, could you imagine? It's a really weird, like, reality, is it not? It's a like Mario reality. I'd like to start with a notable spot here on Driftwood Shore. Statues, ah yes! <laughs> Bless me. Seven Wonders, please wander about. Wow, a treasure hunter's always busy, huh? It's gotta be better treasure somewhere else. Well, fine. Fuck you, then. Probably good that he's not here to bother me, though, you know? Considering how often he showed up in Mario and Luigi 1... <laughs> and then he stuffed your two favorite characters in a barrel. Which were a cork and cast. He's like, the tour is over! So here's something mysterious. If this bridge wasn't here and there was no way to get over here, there are actually, like, people around across this bridge. And enemies. So how the hell did they get there, I wonder? Um... Mario. As always, there's a lot of unanswered questions, but it's okay. We didn't need to know that. My job isn't to ask these questions, my job is just to play the game, right? Presumably. Over here. Super candy, great! Love that. Golly.
So yeah, this area is not too advanced. Uh, it's got some cool, like, platforming puzzles, though. Also, lots of money here. Like, really, there's a lot of money in this area. This is also the part of the game where equipment starts getting more expensive, as you were seeing there. You might have noticed, like, I had to sell a lot of stuff to get new weapons. Sell your soul for a weapon. Now, granted, I was also buying, like, new gear, but... Yeah, look at this! The dream point! That didn't take long at all, did it? He's like, yeah, there's one on the beach, you can go find it. We'll hide in there. Are you sure this is a good idea? It doesn't even make sense. Try to hide her as deep in as you can. Great. Why don't they just hide her in the water? Oh, please stop trying to make sense, Arpa. Where's Peach Mario? You could fight her skeleton under the sea. <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> what? Now you can't kidnap her ever! That's actually the plot of a Mario hack. Mario, like, killed Peach because he's like, I'm tired of Bowser doing that. So I'm just gonna kill her. And I'm like, what the hell? That's like uh, a fucking come up with. roundabout solution to... Just killing Bowser. <laughs> and I'm not done killing it, Bowser! Bowser slowly and awkwardly backs away. While Mario just slowly advances towards Bowser with like a wrench. And she's like, yeah, there's not much dangerous here. Let's take a look around though. Okay, but first. So yes, there is a new attack, Rose attack, or Luigi area attack for this area too. That's kind of a hint that we're going to be seeing a little bit more of this area. I mean, we're doing such a good job of hiding Peach out in the open. Well, that's a dead end, huh? Yeah, you know, we don't know what's in this dream world, but we'll leave her here anyways. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Oh wow. The seahorse? Why do you know who I am? Dream Genie. Wow. Cedric. Great. A dreamy? I mean, I guess he is. Mm -hmm. Surely, this this talking seahorse would not lie to me. I mean, maybe there is a way. A dream egg would let you expand the dream world. What do you mean? Do you mean to tell me there's a way to, like, matryoshka all this shit, where it's like there's a dream inside of a dream? I gotta lay one. Alright, get to work, buddy. Six months? You gotta carry this shit to term? Come on, man. Oh, he's got an idea. My little bros. Great. 
They're along the beach, aren't they? And my little sis. Great. Oh, yeah, hold on. Why does Japan love flip phones so much, by the way? Um... I don't know, fuck. Why don't you? I mean, flip phones are cool. Siblings can be annoying. Why do you need your siblings in order to help you lay an egg? I, I don't know. Listen, I don't understand. I'm just hoping we're not, like, stumbling onto some platonic twin shit. Okay, let's not... Let's not imply that. <laughs> Alright, Peach is like, if Peach thinks it's safe, surely she's never been wrong ever about that kind of thing. Obviously, we're totally fine, and nothing bad will happen, so let's go get some dream eggs, woo! And that's the only reason we're in this area, so... You're not gonna believe it. And this might be the first and only Mario game where this enemy appears so late for the first time. But, uh... Not oh, these, no, by the way. Uh, I was gonna say, oh no, it's the guy from Scream. No, it's the first Goomba in the video game. Oh wow, it is. This is literally the first Goomba we've seen. You ever think about that? Nobody wants to see us anymore. They have to get pretty creative to make Goombas like a 10 hour in the, to the game enemy. The Goombas do have a little bit of a tricky attack pattern compared to, uh... You know, if they want to make Goombas like a late-game menace, just give them a knife. True! We should give them baseball bats so they can levitate like the Mario Sports games. <laughs> and those Goombas would be threatening. Ah, oh, I'm bad at timing that. Give them multi-bonk? work too. Now naturally the fly guys are a little bit more dangerous than the bog standard Goombas, but... They are still Goombas, they're not like... particularly difficult enemies. But they are harder than they would be if you fought them earlier. <laughs> hey Mikey, what's up? How you doing? Why the crying emoji? If only Goombas could be cool? One day, somebody will do it. Mario, look out! They gave Goombas guns! Goombas arms! It's a bomb, Luigi! We're not gonna make it! That's a nasty enemy. Yeah, these are like the little pearls. They have a really strange pattern, and I believe it's hard to damage them outside of, you know, counterattacking them like that. But we're gonna try anyways. If we get a lucky hit, we'll do a little bit more damage. The fly guys do actually infinitely spawn the Goombas. At least they can. Here he comes! Oh, there he was. Alright, we're gonna target the main problem here, which is this fly guy. I think this boom is not an issue anymore. Oh my god. Die. Get that Goomba out of here. It is really funny though. It's like uh, the last game had Toad Town. 
five hours in? This game's version of that is having Goombas ten hours in. For the first time. You've gotta defy convention, right? It's just important. Uh, did I get the date of birth hammer already? I'm pretty sure I went back, didn't I? I didn't. So the maintenance hut is a specific location because every time you rescue a certain amount of kilo people, the elder gives you cool items. And so we're gonna go ahead and pick some up. That's a data birth hammer. Power gloves, pretty useless right now. Data birth ring, also not gonna use that. Goldenware, not gonna use that. 37 is the next one, so we're not gonna be coming back here for a while. I don't know what the goldenware does, actually. Ooh, it's worse. Is safety wear better? Nah. Alright, back back there we go. Uh, the DOB stuff is just date of birth. Basically, on your birthday, the ring and the hammer become much more effective. Well, happy birthday to us, I guess. And you can technically cheat and just set your birthday, you know, but... I will fight honorably. <laughs> you can cheat, like, with that birthday Pikachu card. What? There's a birthday Pikachu card? Oh, yeah, the TCG? Has... Yeah, the TCG. People... That card got banned because people would cheat. But they just lied that it was their birthday? Yeah. And you figured it would get banned because it's an overpowered card effect that only works randomly, or at least on an arbitrary day. If it's not your birthday, this attack does 30 damage. If it's your birthday flipping point, if it's this attack does 30 damage plus 50 more damage. And if Tails, this attack does 30 damage. So for two energy, you have a potential 80 damage attack. You just have to lie that it's your birthday. That's incredible. And it has a blank space on the top of the card so you can write your own name on it. <laughs> because it's supposed to be your Pikachu. And then you write the birthday in the flavor text. Oh, but then you just lie. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally my birthday today. There's a lot of logistics issues with that card that caused it to get banned. That's kind of awesome that they did that at all. You know, it was obviously a terrible much... idea. I can only imagine how much, like, a mint, unmarked version would cost. Oh my god, yeah, that is something to think about, huh? Because, like, how many people just didn't write on that card? Yeah, kept it in good shape. It's like how a lot of, like, original set cards are expensive only because, like, we were kids and did not know how to keep good care of our cards. Even though they are not even remotely playable these days. They're not good and standard, and they're not even, like, I, they're not legal and standard, and I don't even think they're playable in ex the more extended formats. Look, there's a dream point over there. That's amazing, we're gonna make some progress. We're gonna watch Peach get kidnapped again. We swear it won't happen. No, I think it's gonna happen, bro. I am oddly confident. That's really weird, doesn't it? Yeah. 
It's like a bulbous sore in a mountain. What the fuck? <laughs> bitch. This is apparently harder than it looks. Oh. Really gotta explore around here to find these. What what kind of attack do you think we're gonna get here? Oh, it's the gun. I really do. I don't know why it's just so fun in a picture. Just random video game characters like Mario with a gun. <laughs> I'm through playing around. I've never asked the question of why it's funny. I've always just thought it was funny. I guess it's just like on principle. If Kirby can have a gun, Mario can. I mean, in Smash you get to have Mario pick up a gun. This is true! That does happen. Wow, this enemy is free, what the hell? See why having high stash is great? Kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Ugh. <laughs> what more do I gotta show you? We're then back at the beginning of the area, as you can see. I don't know if there's like a fast shortcut over here or anything. It looks like it. I don't want to go down that way until we have to leave, right? Alright, here we go! Let's see if there's any new Luigianary things for you to laugh at and go, what the hell is Luigi's face on? Would it be a type of gun, photorealistic, or something akin to a Nerf Blaster? Probably Nerf Blaster, if I was thinking of things they'd actually put in a game. The realistic gun would be way funnier. We don't want a repeat of Donkey Kong 64. Oh, it's this enemy again. We ran into a variation of these. Oh, where was it? I think it was in the park? The coconut gun is fine! The problem is it was not just a coconut gun in the uh, original betas. When Miyamoto and the Nintendo team came by to, to check out the progress. Miyamoto was not amused. Well, he ended up liking some of the things about it. I think specifically the idea of them using, like, fun weapons was neat. That's why he, like, drew up the coconut gun. And they were like, oh... Because they had not intended to leave that there, but... It was just a placeholder. Though, again, Donkey Kong with a realistic gun was pretty funny. <laughs> Like Donkey Kong with a twin barrel shotgun? It's definitely like an image I can think of. Oh hey! That's a fun enemy. No! No! What 
What an asshole. Sorry, your opponent had to be an asshole. I love it that they stay flipped over. Man. At least I can hit them when they do that. Yeah, I mean, I get that Donkey Kong has, like, ridiculous Herculean strength. And so, realistically, a gun is the last thing you need when you can, like, punch the moon and move it. It's kind of awesome that he can do that at all, you know? Or shoot a gun. Sometimes you just don't even want to do that. You just want to leave a slug between your opponent's eyes. And watch their lifeless corpse slump over. Exactly, you understand. That fight took forever. I might not want to fight Lakitus and Spinies. Well... Oh wait, that's what I have to do. I, f I knew I forgot something. My brain like broke. Okay, well that encounter can be over instantly. And so the time of experience. The nice thing about the stash raising equipment too is that it's based on percentage. So like the more I upgrade my stash, The more they go. Uh, the more the upgrade effect, like the more those luck boosting items affect my uh, my uh, my stash stat. Because obviously a higher pool just means that like twenty percent of it is more, right? Right.
What? A sucker. Wow. This enemy is evil, dude. I think Ball is the play against this enemy, though. How did miss them? Keep hitting them with Luigi bleh, Luigianary Ball. Hey, View, what's up? Fashionably late? Indeed, but you are here. It's all that matters, really. That you're here because you want to be. As opposed to us forcing you at gunpoint again. Exactly. Gotta have those good vibes coming into the new year, you know? Fashionably late, but what up? Like I said, not much. Luigi's leveling up, though. Yeah! yeah. Oh, it's a bad pun. He's got the egg. Mm -hmm. Mamma mia. <laughs> well, Luigi seems to be enjoying it at least. Laughing at Dream Eggs in your sleep is a very identifiable behavior. Martin Louise, you don't know what that is. Okay. 
I'm sorry I, I interrupted the genius. Yay, strange anecdotes. It's like Fawful never left us. It's true, he was there the whole time. It was the Fawfuls we made along the way. Yo! Luigi is sociopath? I like that theory though. Cause you know, I'd like to imagine Luigi just like this evil man. Who is just masking it for his brother, you know? Cause he doesn't want to show his brother who he truly is. Luigi just hiding horrible thoughts under that blank stare. Looks at Princess Peach and just imagines her neck broken all the way around. Holy shit, dude. That's a little hard. <laughs> Here's Toad screams in his dreams. It probably takes a man of immense violence to commit murder of thousands of Goombas and Koopas without a sweater care. Yeah, I suppose so! I mean, he's the one that just suggested violence in getting a flashlight from a Koopaling in Hotel That's Mario. Nice. Mario, sometimes you just gotta spill a person's blood to get what you want. Look, that was a very strange thing he did do. Mario in general kind of had kind of had that that vibe, you know. But oh, Luigi like, said appearances. They acted like almost like Mario and Luigi, and then it was like, oh god. When Luigi said appearances could be deceiving, that is a quote that hit him very close to home. can be deceiving, especially when I'm involved. I mean, when Bowser's involved. Hey, remember when you said this game was missing something? Yes. Hang on. We found our drill crab. Finally. I've been missing them. 
I think they're closer to regular crabs, but... They're still dangerous. To normal forests. Again, I would hate to imagine being on the tourism board. For the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, yeah, come down to our beaches. What's that warning on the ads for? Um, well, you know, you can read it when you get there, don't worry. Just please book the flight and spend the, the week at the resort. We're going to need to decide this very lengthy non-disclosure agreement. Anyways, you can play it again if you want. I don't know. I don't remember what the prizes are, but Yeah, the 3D effects in this game are really nice. Oh, yeah. This one's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Here's your dedicated anti-gravity. Kind of. It's more like omni-gravity, I suppose. Cause you can just like spit it around. Pretty cool though, isn't it? It is an ability that you can have. We didn't get any tutorial for that one either. We just let you figure this one out. It's not very complicated though. I mean, it's gravity. Gravity's not complicated. Every position in the world just screamed at you. <laughs> what? Performs? Super Mario, here we go. Time to become the Dream Warriors.
Uh-oh. I guess we're not very super. Well, that's handy! Here goes! Pretty good, we've gotten two out of how many of them were there again? You remember? I don't. I don't. There's no help at all, dude. I sorry. You're supposed to remember these things. Am I? Well, not really. <laughs> really not your job, but sorry for not having a job. Acting like it is your job is pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, so we've gotten a good amount of progress done. So I presume then I have to go solve that weird puzzle. this. This looks particular. What? Wow. Oh, you know, I guess I could go to the right down there, huh? I want to solve puzzles, though! I guess that Oracle of Ages playthrough is still on my mind. <laughs> Which, now I have to do Oracle of Seasons, which is going to be very fun. And, from what I can tell, a little easier. A little closer to what I would expect out of a 2D Zelda game, I guess. Yeah. Age has definitely had a lot of really tough puzzles. Late game Goombas, by the way. Late yep. fucking game Goombas. Imagine if they did that in a Mario platformer. Dude! That'd be really funny, come to think of it. <laughs> like, the Goombas show up in World 8. Or, like, World 6 or 5. World 5 or 6. I mean, Mario World kind of did it, because, you know, the first Goomba you see in that game, even though it's not technically a regular Goomba, the first Goomba you see in that game is in World 2. The first enemy of that game is like a Koopa and a Rat. Kinda weird when you think about it. But thankfully I don't think about it. 
It was these fly guys are kind of needlessly cruel, considering they use these Goombas as like living ammunition and bullet sponges. Kind of messed up, man. They're evil. I mean, when you look like the guy from Scream, you shouldn't expect morality. It's true. Like, no huge driving moral compass here. More like an immoral compass. Ho oh, oh. ho! I could probably level up again here, but... Ugh. Too much fighting, I think. Makes the mind weary. Especially when you can make progress instead, right? Uh, yeah. Ah yes, one more screen to the right. Oh yeah, did you check out the new Pokemon OU stuff? I have not. Been some funny shakeups in the tier. Hurem got worse, even though it's still really good at OU. It lost Roost, so it's not like completely busted and put into Ubers. Because you know that happened, right? It got Roost in Gen 8, and then, uh... Yeah. Somehow Hurem became a menace in I Gen mean, 8. you have to think of it, right? Like, its natural bulk and its stats are actually pretty good. Like, 125 HP and then double 90 in defenses. And that was also the gem that had heavy duty boots, right? Yeah, but the thing is, heavy duty boots does help you against hazards, but still means you don't have an item. It's true, but like, Hiram in Gen 9 or Gen 8 didn't need an item, it just stalled and, and did really high damage because yeah. it had double 130 attack, anyways. Yeah. Like, it was a stall mon that also did damage. <laughs> and the best part about it was because it had Roost. And heavy duty boots, it didn't have to worry about things like Stealth Rock messing with its uh, typing. Because Stealth Roost Rock. Is still in Gen 9, why doesn't Kyurem have Roost anymore? Uh, they just got rid of it out of its new pool. The reason it's an OU is because there's a new item in Gen 9 that's really fucked up for it called Loaded Dice. I mean, what would stop you from importing a Kyurem that had Roost? I don't know, but I. I think it, I don't I don't know, but I know it's just not a thing that, that it can use. Anymore. It says five PP. Oh well, it, as far as I can tell, hold on. I can tell it just doesn't learn it anymore. Because it was a move tutor move before. Was it a move tutor thing in, in Gen 8? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. I don't know, though. So you'd have to import Roost. Well, no, it's just not listed as a thing you could have on the Smogon page. So maybe, like, if you did that, it would just be removed from its move list. I wouldn't put it past Game Freak to do that at this point. Yeah, I mean, again, they got rid of Roost, right? It's on it. Then, instead, it gets this really cool item called Loaded Dice, right? You know what the Loaded Dice does? I do not. Uh, every multi-hitting move that hits up to five times or more will hit at least four times. So it's not quite skill link, but it can be as good as skill link. And at worst, it's like four hits. Which means Kirim is, is belting out Icicle Spear with that thing. Or scale shot, which it gets. And oh. as you know, that's pretty good, right? I'm on glad that... we brought back Mega Heracross. On that beautiful base 130 attack with stab on ice. You just set up, I guess, set up a dragon dance and then Kirim just starts throwing shit at people. Yeah, and this is the gen where ice is actually a good type now. Thank you, Snow. Which, you know what? That might be the, the best thing about Gen 9. They actually made Ice a good type. 
that we're probably dealing with a lot of sun because of Terra. Oh, you know it. I, I haven't started Violet to confess to the stream here. Just a lot of things in my way. And Pokemon is something that kind of takes getting invested into. So that's why I've never really sat down with it yet. You can actually be a defensive ice type and work. Because of the way snow is now. Yeah, snow plus Aurora Veil. Which is basically like dual screens and then a, another additional defensive bonus. <laughs> I'm so glad that a bomb of snow dies in two heads instead of one now. about the smoke on page it's like yeah there's no roost but i think it's because it is entirely offensive focused hear him yeah <laughs> it's like they're going either for choice specs which i don't want to be the person that gets hit by a oh in ou that gets hit by a Kiram draco meteor with choice specs ow that doesn't sound like something i want to switch in on no <laughs> ow it's basically legal backs caliber because that motherfucker got banned yeah. He was crazy. But the dragon dance with the loaded dice set sounds like the most fun, which... Yeah. I think I might want to actually try to build something around Kirim, because it sounds fun. Yeah, Kirim Black is an Ubers, and you can guess what it does with Icicle Spear and loaded dice with, a, with its 170 base attack. And dragon dance. Yeah, Kirim, they are determined to make sure Kirim Black is beyond OU. Granted, is Ubers even a tier with the Pokemon that are available? It is! There's an Ubers Violet. UU because of how many Pokemon got banned from OU. I'm not even kidding, that's a tier! Oh, yeah. I mean, at least Zacian is no longer completely stupid. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, let's have that switch in ability only activate once per battle. Too bad the thing is still faster than Mewtwo for no reason. Mar Whoa, Mario! <laughs> he just was like, no, no. Mm -hmm. no. no, we're not waiting an hour. <laughs> Welcome to the slow run of the game. Well, Zacian Crowned is still an A-plus rank, I gotta give it to that. Of course, the cover legendaries are on S rank. Where the hell is Duskmane Necrozma? Because I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I guess he can't import Duskmane. Say it louder, Mr. Pillow Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Mewtwo still manages to stay above the C rank, probably because Calyrex was banned to Anything Goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Momola and C plus in Ubers, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Pink Seahorse. Also, hi, Eridor. How you doing? We did it. We have more Dream Eggs. I like how anytime something has a face like that in a Mario game, it's a, t it's a total flirt. Bye. Okay. Something in a Mario game just talked about going clubbing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More normal Mario dialogue. Anyway, that's all of them, funny enough. But I'm still missing one attack piece, or two at least, so. 
Yeah, Ting Lu being viable in Ubers does not surprise me. Ting Lu is a monster from what I've seen. Did you like P.U. Terrakion, by the way? Power creep cuts like a knife. Oh, that got banned immediately. Uh... So what happens is, uh... Their new tiering system basically means that, like... Before they would, like... Gradually drop Pokémon down. But now they just drop them, like... Based on just usage, period. So Terrakion just got, like, almost no usage, because Iron Boulder also came out. And, uh... It went right down to PU, and it got immediately banned. Because no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like dropping a fucking truck on like in like a fucking kindergarten playground. Like you're not, <laughs> and like asking the kids to fight the truck. Like that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I still love that Zapdos is A plus on OU. That thing's never gonna leave OU. Yeah, no, it, it's it's a fucking fixture at this point. Our creep has nothing on Zapdos. A good stat spread with good typing, you just can't get rid of that. Yeah, I mean the bulk is too good. It's really just the bulk. And the general immunity to hazards, even without, like, heavy-duty boots, like, you don't even need... You don't even need them. And then they added boots, and it was like, well, damn. Now, like, the one thing that, like, put pressure on Zapdos doesn't matter anymore. Because, like, the, the original thing was Zapdos, right? It was still an amazing Pokémon. It's just, it was always weak to Stealth Rock, right? You could always Stealth Rock it. And wear it down with Stealth Rock, and... and but it can wear can. shoes. Yeah. And on top of that, it still has stuff like Roost and everything to heal up. So the it's like, fact that it has Roost and its Gen 1 balance stats just give it a bolt that it shouldn't have. Yeah, the Pokemon in Gen 1 has like really similar like stat yields like that, I think. Where it's like... The way Gen 1 stats work, they're just like weirdly like bulky even in modern Pokemon. Is really funny. Like modern Pokemon designs, like more min maxed. Yeah, like stats are generally more exact, especially like HP and defenses. But in old Pokemon, it's like yeah, uh, everybody's got like base 80 or 90 HP. Defense is usually 70 or 80 at minimum when you're fully evolved in Gen 1. Yeah. Like the stat that like the stat distributions are weirdly balanced. And even in Gen 2, it's a little bit of that. I think it's because of how stat experience and DB work back then. Like, Probably. you didn't really base it towards a particular stat. You wanted to have all your stats as high as they can. Right, and then also it was just like... Move pools were simpler, there was not a lot of, uh... Like, deviation in that regard. That's why you get things like Hitmonchan having like 120, or Hitmonlee having 120 special defense because they didn't know what to do with the special set and didn't want to have a terrible BSD. <laughs> so it's like, okay, this thing is like weirdly kind of a special wall, despite being a fighting type. I'm proud of Moltres also being up here on the viability ladder for OU. I mean, honestly, Pokemon started being like more min maxi around Gen 5? Gen 4? Yeah. Gen 5. I that. Think Gen 4 had a little bit of it. Yeah, there. Some of it, but I think Gen 5 was where it's really noticeable. Like, yeah. Corona. Excadrill. <laughs> oh, Excadrill for sure. A really good example. Um, Haxorus. Pokemon like that, where they're like really just spec to do one thing. And a lot of Pokemon are like that now, where they have like. Yeah. Pretty much like. catered stats, and that's fine. Very different kind of thing. Yeah. Bad, it's just different. And then we have the Ultra Beasts, which take the min maxing to an extreme. Well, the Ultra Beasts are fucking awesome. I, I love that concept. I think that was so cool. Yeah. I love how they just stand out from the other Pokemon in such a jarringly weird way. Like, it really does capture the otherworldly thing that they are. And their stats are even like, this is not a Pokemon. Like, you look at... Like, 
They have glitch Pokemon stats, but they're official Pokemon. Yeah, there are some Pokemon that are just never gonna be bad, like Superior, ever since we got Contrary, was just destined to be fucked up. <laughs> um, and it's even more, you know how like there's that new Stellar Terra type, right? Yeah. And how it changes Terra Blast to like this other move that has 100 base power, right? And it gets like a power boost. Now, do you know what else that move does? What? It raises your special. It raises your attack and special. Or no, it drops your attack and special attack by one stage when you use it. Do you know what Superior has this ability? Contrarian. You know what the Stellar Terra type Terrascalization also does? It gives you a two times bonus to one attack of your type. So like, <laughs> it gets the two times bonus on Leaf Storm, and then the one point two times bonus on the Stellar move itself, right? Right. Which means it's got two different moves with different type that continually boost it. So even if you, like, try to resist Leaf Storm, it'll just click the, the Stellar type move, which has no resistances, but it also isn't super effective against anything. And then it'll just keep boosting. <laughs> I love Superior. But yeah, this Pokemon's kind of bad. Then they gave it, like, the Dream World ability, and it was like, yeah, hey, this Pokemon's kind of fucked up. It just clicks one move and wins. Like, I wish I was kidding, but it's literally just like, I'm going to do Leaf Storm now. Which, I have to admit, is pretty fucking awesome. Wouldn't you say, Arp? It is quite something. Alright, we got it. Here comes the brand new Bros Attack. Top viability in the DLC 2 viability list. Karam is up there, and Sup Superior. They have our boys. Oh yeah, we finally have like a Super OU Entei with our Roaring Fire. Or Gouging Fire? Gouging Fire. There we are. Also high up on the viability ranking is that Raikou with that apparently got a visit from Quan Chi. Raging Bolt. I mean, they're all like dragon types, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, right, they introduced a new member of the genies, Enamorous. Who just looks kind of like a combination of a Pokemon and a Gerudo. Oh, we did it! We got the Dream Eggs! What, what's gonna happen? We're gonna die. Mario. Hey Mario, I need you to fuck me up. What? 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 I just released the soul of nature. Thanks, Mario. <laughs> What? Mm -hmm. 
All right. Time to make more dreams than dreams than dreams than dreams. And look, it's fucking purple now. Whoa, dude. I don't know if they intended on you coming back here gradually and doing more and more of this. We're gonna do it all. Over. I'm looking forward to the princess being kidnapped by the time you come out. Alright, time to spin the floaty. Alright, we're gonna play some Mick Kids. Holy shit, it's the first Piranha Plant! Speaking of bizarre late game enemies. Okay, my favorite Smash Brothers character! Oh fuck! Oh! Unfortunately, a sentiment shared by nobody. Okay, listen, just because they don't use him in competitions doesn't I mean they don't love the fact that he's there, you know? I do appreciate that it exists. It still just kind of stings that, for all the hyping that we've been doing for it, nobody picked it. It's so funny. Like... It was so funny when they revealed it! And I'm so sad it was not at least good. Yeah. You know, story of my life. Happened with Banjo, too. Well, Banjo's at least a solid knowledge check. Yeah, he's probably better than Plant. I mean... Like, people that are not aware of the resource system are just gonna get suddenly caught off guard by the side beat. And they'd be like, what the fuck, this character is broken, and I laugh at the Yeah, I think the, the difference is nobody thought Parada Plant was ever good at any point. Yeah. I think you had a couple top players playing him for the first little bit. That's an evil attack. Oh, the best DLC characters are like all in season one. And then Sephiroth, he was fine. Everything else was like, this sucks. It makes the game less fun. <laughs> Kinda why I bounced off it. On top of the online and everything else. And then I played Plus Art. And now I just make people miserable with the... <laughs> My true calling I... in life. I don't remember a lot of complaints about Sora. Oh, he's fine. You're right. Him and him and Sephiroth. Azia is like funny, but like his design is just like, hey, what if we like took everything interesting about offense and smash and then removed it? Piotr's you, which is like cool. His movement is neat, but he's Piotr's you. That's second. It's not. It's the thing. The movement is Tekken! Yeah, but getting your shit kicked in is definitely Tekken. It's true. But like... It's not like that. I don't know how to describe it. I guess piranha plants eat these fly guys, by the way. Can I ask that? I mean, they, they're omnivores. How can you purport to be such a scientist about piranha plants? That is very presumptuous of me, I apologize. Yeah, but there's a good chance they are, I will say. I will proceed to get fucked as repentance. Okay, now hold on. Not on stream. That's against Switch to us. <laughs> what? 
punk platforms. What do these do? Ooh. Oh wait, I think I can guess. Yep. Oh my god. That's cool. I like people don't like this game. Which I know is a fact that has probably been baffling you since we started streaming this, huh? Impossible. I don't know if you've noticed any like really big flaws with it. Beyond like maybe the overbearing ish tutorials, I can't really think of much so far. Yeah, I I'm not seeing the problem yet. Oh, Smash is hella fun with friends and, like, casually. I think, like, Ultimate is a massive success as a video game in that regard. Uh, I think its roster is amazing. Banjo and Kazooie have, like, the best animations ever in that game, and I'm so happy that they got that level of love and care. Um... Cause you know what? The Smash team is smelly, so you know, if, they, if Banjo gets played less by, by Smash players, that's less I have to associate him with that. I'm cool. They just revealed Banjo in Smash Remix anyway, so now I can have him in N64 Smash too, and then that's the one where he has Drip, and it's cool. Same with Dr. Mario. I'm like, I'm chillin'. I wish I could chill. Oh my god, bloopers? In jards? Wait. Wait, is this enemy just like a squid gyre? That's awesome. What the fuck you do to our jar? Nope! Oh, Aha, the squid pot. Oh yeah, the, the guy with this trophy fucking up the down charge. <laughs> it's really funny that they did that. That's like somebody on the team played Guile and said, you know, I want this to match, you know, I want I want this to be a realistic representation of what I go through. I got mixed! I got mixed! Can I use a top ball here? Fuck you, buddy. Oh, you mean the Goro too? I mean, I'm kind of excited for it. Wonder if we'll see Grant again. We're gonna see Jeff Coker and Skeleton as a playable character. That's the real reason I am so sad Jeff Bogart never happened. 
<laughs> and also, like, my out. main Jeff. I think the funniest thing about that KOF 15 leak to me still has to be Wonko San. <laughs> like, somebody was like, yeah, man, that sounds like something they'd do. Remember Art of Fighting 3, that game that they really liked? Airboat? I mean, that's what made it a shit post. Oh, dude, it was so funny to read that. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh. All DK. Well, that yeah, brings you back. Son of a bitch. Fuck. <laughs> These people, these things in their 50-50s. You can tell which ones are going to do it. I just have the memory of a goldfish. I see. Here's back and check on something. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a dating sim, I hope. Puzzle time! Do I need new equipment in here though? Hold on. May break during use. Oh my god. KOs you in three turns! What the fuck? <gasps> Why would you ever? That's broken. I don't know, that's like... <laughs> that's, but I'm not doing that. No, you can't make me. Hey, buddy. Alright, let's do it!
The dream within the dream within the dream. Oh, so this is the dream within the dream within the dream right now. We're one away. You weren't supposed to come in here! How did you get past the piranha plants and the blooper jars? Okay. Oh, look, the background's different again. Whoa! It's all pretty nice looking, though, I must say. Super candy, yay! More of that. More piranha plants. Great. Uh. Whoa! Mario DiCaprio? More or less. Damn, that did a lot of damage. I can't move! It's got good die. Did I miss anything? Okay, two things. One, I went to the gear store here. There's some really funny gear you can buy. Uh, there's gear that will just break after using, <laughs> using it a bit. And there's also uh, a hero's uh, wear that the game says will boost a bunch of your stats, but also you die in three turns. <laughs> Which is an interesting trade-off. That's a very bold move to make, I think. Cool, we could recreate the plot of speed in an RPG battle. Oh, and then uh, we also Mario and Luigi also mentioned to that seahorse that hey, why are there monsters in here if this dream world's supposed to be like safe and stuff? Did you spread them? And he was like, no, that must mean something bad got in. Which is uh, alarming. Which is why I'm so glad that Peach just came here. I could not imagine why that would be a bad idea. Nothing concerning is about to happen. Nothing that will extend the plot. Yeah, no. I mean, will it? Because we were, we were, we were good at the kind of stop Bowser anyways, so... You know what? Now we have a reason to stop Bowser. We already had one! He has a laser! He, just, uh, he like, obliterated two islands! We have more reasons to stop Bowser. Like... <laughs> Dude was on a tear already, man. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, I definitely remember Bowser just casually committing murder of the massive variety. Just destroy the islands and all the people on it. No big deal. This game makes pretty fun, though, I will say. I mean, I'm not seeing the complaints yet. Uh, maybe I should go back. I want to see if I missed anything in that other room. Oh, another blooper jar. Oh, there's a whole bunch of enemies. Yeah, the Switch has to have, like, instead of HD Rumble, it's like HD smell vision Assuming it ever comes out or exists at all. <laughs> Because every time it's been, like, kind of credible, nothing's happened anyways. Uh, 
Okay. It's like FE4 remake? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? What? What? does this jar have more than bloopers in it? It feels like a violation. Calling more people. No. It's reminding me of that one encounter in Mario and Luigi One in our first time playing it. Oh God! How long did that fight last again? Let's see. That video's still on your channel, right? Oh, I'm not going back to find it. But I'm pretty sure I it was like 20 minutes, wasn't it? Let's look at that clip if I can find it. I cannot imagine why you wouldn't know where it is, or why, why it'd be that hard to find. It's like ages old. It is. It is an all-time classic, though. I, <laughs> the reason I came back to doing these with you wasn't because of that clip, but I did think about it. You know, like... Four minutes and six seconds. That video is four minutes and six seconds. And that's what some of the encounter cut out. Because I'm pretty sure it's, uh... Just from the moment he starts spawning back up. That was a minutes-long encounter. Yeah... I think it's the first time we've used Luigi Nary Hammer, by the way. Isn't that great? Well, you might be thinking, maybe I should have used Luigi Nary Hammer, you know. The last boss fight we had in the dream area, but no. Don't be so silly. That would never happen, right, Arthur? Impossible. Check the map. Are there any more pieces in this room? Oh, there's one over there. What? Did I miss it? I did. They've only got three left. I think there's only one more dream expansion to go. Isn't that thrilling? Um, as it'll ever be. Yeah, for anybody who's uh, unaware, since uh, work schedule got weird and life stuff got weird, Ye old Mario Hack Monday is taking place tomorrow morning at like 11 or 10, 10 or 11, probably. 
so I'm looking forward to that. Not gonna be the last time I do a morning stream to keep my schedule roughly on par, but... Perilous, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. Okay, look at all that money, dude. Uh, Tuesday stream isn't gonna happen, it's gonna be on Wednesday instead. Thursdays will go on as planned, and then that'll be my four days of the week for streaming. Because my, my goal is to do four a week the whole year. Oh, ambitious. It is, I got two a week for most of this year. Good job. For this year, I say. Most of last year. But, uh, you know, obviously I can do better. At least I think I can. And I don't know, I think I would find it more fun to stream more and do more things for me, so... Yeah. Generally what I want this year to be. I want to advance my life meaningfully. So I'm gonna try. I just want to stop being depressed and tired all the time. Man. That's the <laughs> lifelong battle. Are you really like that all the time, though, or...? Yeah. Oh. You don't find any joy in regular life? Uh, not yet. Do you miss how things were, or...? Nah. Just what I am, I guess. Ah, uh, you got a new year. It'll make up for it, I'm sure. Break the cycle! I believe in Four you. Four person space out of frustration. Gotta make the most of it, right? Right. I want to believe this new year is going to be awesome, so I'm going to do my best to make it good for me. Give me that! We did it! Luigi-nary, what? Flame! I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it looks, uh, sounds pretty cool. I mean, it lets Luigi do a flame, I think. Yoga flame! Are you ready for the the uh, the next dream expansion, which I'm sure will will not unravel anything at all suspicious or bad? Could you imagine doing this piece by piece and then leaving this area and then going back? Ugh. The episodic dungeon. Anyways, yeah, like if you look at the gear here, let's see, it's it's something. I also don't know what the fuck breaking during use would mean, because I don't think there's a way to equip stuff mid-battle or anything. Which of course leads me to the question... No, Twitch. Twitch! Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Yowie wowie. That's scary. Oh. It does not like the seahorse. Seahorse alert. Seahorse alert. Okay, sorry everybody, I don't know what that was. Screaming sucks, actually. Stop! Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh baby, that's it. Drop frames. 